Just found the biggest piece of the day so far. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Today, I'm testing a new gold claim. And typically when I test a claim, I use a metal detector and I get underwater to see what kind of gold is laying around. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna get in there and uh, see how we do. We are here. I don't see much exposed bedrock for metal detecting, but I am wearing my wetsuit, so I'm just gonna jump right in. The first thing I notice is this hole in my boot. So I was warned that this creek is really dark and the gold is really spotty. That is until I moved about a foot to the right. Ooh. 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 That was really fast. A handful of gold in like the first 20 seconds. And sometimes that will happen. You find the gold at the very beginning or you find it at the end. What we want is to find gold consistently throughout the whole day. All right, so I am having a little bit of trouble reading this river, but as long as I stick to the bedrock, I'll find those cracks and crevices which will eventually lead to the gold. And sometimes it does take a little while to get to the bedrock. Do you want to see more of these videos? I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Just found another nice little one. This river is dark. I tried using the flashlight, but that doesn't really help much on camera. I decided to look for better light because I was having too much trouble seeing. Just found the biggest piece of the day so far. I think we got a nugget. When testing a new claim, finding gold is a good sign there's gold around. <laughs> Due to it's called refraction, everything underwater looks bigger. So I tend to get really excited for pieces that I think are bigger than they are, but that doesn't matter. This is still a beautiful piece of gold. Now, if only we could pick it up. These little guys look so much bigger underwater. I'm not complaining. Of course, moving along in the same spot, not a single sign of gold. Even the best looking crevices are empty. But another thing I did hear is that when you find a pocket in this creek, it's a really good pocket. Perhaps, uh, poly bucket. Okay, time to go downstream. <laughs> Making my way downstream, I managed to pick up a bunch of gold just laying out for me, but it's all sort of random. This creek is hard to predict. Ooh. Our third nugget of the day. Hard to predict or not, gold is gold. And when you find bedrock, the gold is gold. I finally found a crevice that looked good to me, but after cleaning it out, there was nothing. So I made my way further downstream. So I went downstream quite a ways. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be here. I haven't found gold in the last half an hour, but I'll look for a little longer than uh, then it'll get out. Just like that, I found another nice piece. So just like a few other pieces, I had trouble picking this one up. The gold here is pretty stubborn. I found this beautiful looking crevice that must have been 10 feet long. So I spent a good 30 minutes removing rocks, removing socks, fanning the bedrock, and getting cold, but I didn't find a single piece of gold here. So 
So like I keep saying, the gold here is very spotty. Because you're trying to maximize productivity when sniping, it's hard to work with spotty because you're dealing with cold temperatures and a limited amount of time. I explain more of what I'm talking about in my recent How to Snipe video. Ah. Oh, yeah, sufficient weight. The last spot I decided to check actually was holding our first pieces of lead from this creek and a couple decent little pieces of gold. And again, I had trouble picking it up. Lead and metal are a good sign that there could be gold around. Just found two fishing weights and then that piece of gold. All right, back at the car now. I really do like this place. I don't like how spotty it is, but I mean, you're finding gold, so I can't really complain. I'd show you the gold right now, but I'm just gonna get to the house because I'm freezing. <laughs> okay, this is not a bad take for testing out a new claim. Now, even though we did come back with gold and I'm super happy about that, I really don't like how spotty this area is. Normally, I can predict where gold's gonna be, but I had a really tough time in this creek. We did find a little handful of nuggets, which is awesome, but also this cool little piece that my partner found. Let's weigh it, starting with our littlest little nugget. 12 pounds. 0.28 grams is the next one. 12 pounds. 0.32 the next one. 12 pounds. 0.38, so over a gram already. Now this piece, which kind of looks like a skull to me. 12 pounds. 0.67 grams. And now for our little bits. 12 pounds. 1.13 grams, that's more than I thought. Now all together, 12 pound, 2.77 grams. So half of it goes to the claim owner and the other half into the January bag. All right, so 12 pounds of gold. Not bad considering I only went there to uh, test the spot. So this video and the last video I made, I set to schedule ahead of time because right now I'm in New Zealand and I'm probably having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out how to edit the next video while I'm over there. I'm sure it'll be fine and I'm sure I'll find a way, but if you don't see another video this coming Tuesday, that's why, but stay tuned, I am doing my best. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. If you wanna see anything else extra, I am on other social media platforms, including Patreon, where you you get to see early access videos and exclusive stuff. And like always, if you haven't already subscribed to Pioneer Poly, please do. It's absolutely free and it will help us grow. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, more fabulous videos for you.